Hi, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold Professional and welcome down to the channel. This is exciting, we're gonna get straight to the point on this video, ball position. The greats of the game, Ben Hogan being a massive influence on me, he banged on about ball position all the time and you need to get it right. We're gonna start from the tee where only 80% of us get it right. Then we're gonna go down the fairway where only about 60% of us get it right and finally finish off with some short game shots where I reckon, phew, Based on my clients, it's less than 50% get it right. But I'm gonna show you exactly how you can. Right, driver, none of us like waffle. So driver ball position. Where I want you to have this is inside your left heel. And a nice little trick for that is put your toes together, get the ball lined up right in the middle of the toes, turn your left toe out, move your right foot away, just like that. You can see it's right inside my left heel. Now, five wood, three wood, wherever you, whatever club you have in your bag, I much prefer people having a five wood, so do get that, <laughs> um, is roughly around a ball or a club head inside your left heel. And I would treat this the same whether you've got it on the deck or you've got it teed up on the tee box for a club for safety. So they're your first two. Inside your left heel for driver and round about a club head inside your left heel for five wood. Right, 17th hit. Let's hit this one away down the fairway and jump into the irons. So if you're a golfer who's getting ball position wrong, you, you could be working on every element of your game, your backswing, your downswing, but where that ball is dependent on that club is very, very influential on where your club path's gonna be in a natural arc and where your club face is gonna point. And that's why Ben Hogan was banging on about it in all of his books. And that's what I see a lot of people coming on my channel saying, Alex, I need some help with ball position. Or Alex, I'm missing it off to the right all the time. Or I'm missing it off to the left. Get your basics right, get your ball position right, and then you can build up everything around this. I will always start with you if you come down for a lesson on ball position, and that's why I'm excited about this video. So, I nearly did what a fatal error is there, and not just going straight into it. Right, left toe, line it up, ready to rock. I've got the perfect ball position for the club in my hand. And look how much easier it is to make a repeatable, consistent motion. Right, that was absolutely ripped. Uh, let's jump down the fairway, irons. Remember, the percentage is getting lower of who's getting this right. So, this is where we ended up, absolutely over the moon with that shot. But looking for the consistency, you have gotta get your ball position right. Okay, irons. I've only picked out here my four, my seven, and my nine. Right, I always think if you can get three correct, you can then plug the gaps with the rest of the irons that you have in your bag, i.e. five, six, eight, pitching wedge, you can get the gist. So you have to only have to remember, really, three here. So, important point to note, as your clubs get longer, okay, it takes longer for that club face to square. Okay, or let's think about it logically. It needs more time. So look at the difference in the length of those there. You can see I've got nine iron, then I've got my seven iron, and then I've got my four iron. So nice and simply, we want the ball to move slightly further forward in our stance as we go with a longer club. And this one's going to require a four iron. So pitching wedge. I like to have pitching wedge on my zip, but I've got nine iron here, so that's gonna go one grip end inside my zip line or inside my sternum. Really nice, easy one to remember, okay? Drop that club. One, two inside my sternum. I'm gonna have my seven iron. Really easy, again, to remember. Again, if it's eight iron, you can plug that gap. It'd just be halfway between nine and seven. And finally, as we move on to four iron, we would go one, two, three grip ends inside your zip or inside your sternum if you're fortunate enough to be wearing a t-shirt right now. So that's really easy to remember. Just hang it down straight away. Does that then line up? Perfect. If it doesn't and it's far too back, that could be like I was saying with driver, one of the answers to why you're either fatting the golf ball could be too far back or could be too far forward. Then you're having to change your swing and find something. I quote this the other day, right? Just the other day, one of my lessons came to me, ripping it, Brad, mentioning you here, 
your ball position was incorrect and then therefore he was hitting terrible shots. Little change in ball position, ripping it. Right, here we go. We're on four, Ryan. One, two, three. Down. Check it. We're now good to go to hit this as best we can. This is a good shot here. Oh, be the club. Be the club. Ah, oh, little members bounce just off the left fringe. Okay, short game. Remember, 50% or less, get this right. Right, the final one, by the way, nice shot this one, I'm happy with that, is your ball position when chipping. Let's just go standard ball position, and this is really, really simple. I want you to have a stance that is one club head width apart when we're hitting these little diddlers. And then all I want you to have is your ball position on the back half of that stance. This allows you to get that strike, this allows you to get that control, and allows you to execute much better shots. And in general, that's what ball position does. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks to Ben Hogan.